Hello everybody, welcome to episode 5 of the Maya Crash Course series and we're going to be looking at the Smooth tool today. Okay, let's jump straight into it. So the Smooth tool, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, um, helps to create more organic shapes. So if I give you a little demo on what this does, I'll create a plane purely because it has a lot of um, let's move that up so you can see, a lot of um, so what do you call edge loops, uh, subdivisions uh, sorry, so if I can grab one of these now and I can go um, actually, I, w I would say use soft select because um, that kind of has the same effect so if I start doing this now and then I don't know, ju I'll just grab a few and completely mess it up and I'll show you what the, th the smooth tool does so now we've got sort of more of a terrain based or terrain, sorry, terrain, terrain um, what the smooth tool does is it sort of looks at the distance for example let's look at these three vertices it takes the two ends and then it sort of average, averages out where the middle would be you know for all of these and then it just sort of makes it a nice little curve so if I hit three on the keyboard that is the smooth preview so then we can see that all of our nice polygons are nice and smooth so hit one we can go back to normal three the smooth tool and we can also adjust in smooth mode and we can see how everything develops yeah and then that's that's a nice way to make cloth you know an example humans I mentioned so if I delete this what we can do is we can get a cylinder now when working with the smooth tool it's always best to just work slightly under poly so where is 20 you know subdivisions around here might look nice and smooth we can actually get eight subdivisions you know make that look in smooth and I'll show you why because when you subdivide it I'll just delete here so we don't get some funny distortion um, when we actually subdivide it so if you come up here this is a smooth tool so if we do that it actually turns our mesh into geometry although we had eight subdivisions we now have was that 16 faces we now have 16 around here so it basically doubles so when you're working with the smooth tool always use half of what you kind of want so you need to think about what you need to do and that's definitely used within characters because you don't want to have to connect up arms and legs with 20 different edges around there you want to start with at least 8 and then what you can do is, I really do apologise but about the dogs guys um, they've actually done pretty well not to interrupt any of my tutorials yet but they have just done so so what we can do is we can just extend that down and insert some edge loops and then this is really rough guys so please don't take this as an anatomy lesson <laughs> definitely not um, so if we just size those up grab the edge loops tool, tool um, we start creating some some nice shapes like that maybe bring that out just a bit more and hit the 3 key now notice when you've got the caps on what it does okay it starts to bevel round however sometimes for example having a cube if you just try and smooth that now it turns more into a sphere yeah and that's because it's got no edges supporting it so when you're using the smooth tool you know if you want to make sort I'll show you sort of what effect I want to create. Let's do that and then that. If I want to make this sort of shape with the smooth tool, what I would do oops object mode, I'll grab the cube and then what I'll do is I'll use the insert edge loop tool and I'll use this to just plonk them right on the edges. There you go. Now if I do this smooth this I'll show you it's more of a cylinder because these edges here are being supported by this extra edge loop and that's just how it works so then you get sort of something like this and then if you want you know it done on this axis you can do the same oops and then we'll see what we get yeah that's cool and you get that always that funny funny edge and you know why because the last one hasn't been done. So this is a nice edge. 
this is a nice edge so we just need the top now or well, the top and the bottom so if I do this now top and bottom if I then smooth preview this we have kind of got that same effect and that just shows you how the edge loops can then start to crease your edges you know and if I can just like grab this now and then move this that way you see it starts to unfold itself so don't think when you're in smooth mode oh this is all the way out here why is that move it closer it's there for a reason because then when you come to smoothen it properly yeah then you've got these edges here in place so I've got the overall shape yeah I don't need all these edge loops so what I can now do is I can now come here double click on each line by holding shift and then go up to where is it edit mesh and then go to delete edge and vertex so now we've just got was it 108 faces tries um, all optimized because they're all cubes whilst maintaining that nice cube with the slightly beveled edges so you you kind of use and abuse the smooth tool to get what you want and then you start deleting the extras that it has and then you know that's how I made my character and I will show you an example just before I wrap this tutorial up I created something earlier I am um, I looked at uh, the new Grand Tour series done by Jeremy Clarkson and, that, and uh, they used the LaFerrari on there and I thought wow I really like that car so I thought let's grab some photo images and uh, let's start modeling it so if I open that up for you guys I'll show you uh, exactly what I've got and that again that is being used by the smooth tool um, so when you get used to it this is the kind of shapes that you can create now I'm no expert in car modeling or anything like that so you'll have to bear with however I feel like I'm doing okay so here it is uh, so we're getting just the basic shapes done sorry it's getting a bit slow at the minute why is that there we go and I have used reference images for that uh, we'll come on to that in a, a later tutorial don't need that just yet so if I click on the edge here obviously I just do one half and then duplicate that over if I click one that's what it looks like yeah it is horrible but the way that smoothing works it just blends them all together and then you get something like that so you can see the bonnets taking shape the wheel arches this air intake you know you know the the boot has come down here and then I'm gonna have to follow that round you know and I'm all doing that based on you know side images so that I'm really sorry about these Facebook messages I have closed Facebook down I don't know why it keeps doing it um, but yeah and then you can go to the top view as well so we're getting you know we're sort of matching everything up in every view and that ensures that you're getting your scale correct um, so again I'll come into that in another tutorial but that is the smooth tool guys yeah and if I click one you can see I have two edges along here and again as I mentioned in this tutorial with the cube which I've just deleted but I use the support edges on the side so again if I wanted to sharpen or crease this edge up I'll just add a, an edge loop under here and then hit three and then that's a lot sharper and that's basically what I'm doing in this project I'm using two vertexes to maintain a more sharper image I don't, like sharper edge I don't want it too sharp but I just want it to have a bit more definition you know rather than all the roundness that you can see going up here yeah so that's the smooth tool guys so that is the, the extent of how powerful this tool can be if used correctly so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys if you have any questions please email me and the next tutorial we're going to look at is softening and hardening edges it's going to be a nice simple quick tutorial for the next one so I won't have to sort of bore you with six minute videos I want to keep them as short as possible so I'll see you in the next tutorial see you later guys